www.ipwifi.com Today I'm going to tell you how to install a IP Wi-Fi camera. So this is an IP Wi-Fi camera which I've purchased and first I'll tell you the features of an IP camera. An IP camera is a camera which runs on internet. You can watch from this camera from anywhere when it is connected to your internet. So I'm going to tell you but before I'm going to tell you I'm just going to unbox it so this is the camera it has an installation guide which has a barcode uh, this installation guide will tell you how to install this camera and will tell you the proper application for this camera which you need to install so first I'm going to unbox it and will tell you what are the products that comes along with this camera so this is a camera which is an IP base and another thing we get is a, a screw and a hook we get a USB cable as well as a charger and we get a mount a wall mount which help us to mount the camera on a wall so starting with the step one first we need to open the charger which we can connect So, it's a USB charger type uh, power source which we need to provide to this camera over here. It has a like connector. So uh, we'll connect the power source with the camera. Once you will connect it, you will here it will flash a green and an orange light, which is of a LAN cable. So wh when you will see this uh, lights are open, that means your camera is on. It will say three things step by step that your system is getting started. It needs a Wi-Fi that needs to be connected. So you need to listen all these things carefully, like what it has said. System is starting. And before installing a camera, I always suggest like here you will have a noozy pin in this pocket in this uh, poly bag. You need to reset your camera first because like once it, it will set up, system start. It will say access point establishing, but I would say you first reset from here, and it would say. It will say reset It will say reset factory default settings. You have to keep it for a minute. It will say So now I'll connect my phone with this camera. So here you can see it's my phone. it will say access point established that means it has opened its own Wi-Fi hotspot so I'll tell you where we'll get the hotspot I'll first open my phone the application is Wi-Fi QRH that we need to install so it's a 17 MB application that will hardly take one minute to get download so once it, it will get download I'll tell you how to connect first your camera Wi-Fi hotspot with your mobile and then we'll attach it to the camera so once the camera would say access point established that means the camera's Wi-Fi hotspot is enabled so we need to go first to connect our camera with our with our mobile phone Wi-Fi so what we'll do is we'll go on to the Wi-Fi tab of our mobile so here we'll see there's a, a Wi-Fi coming MV 
314-75042. It's MV. It's the Wi-Fi hotspot of the camera. So we need to connect this. It will get connected. It's an open Wi-Fi. So now it is connected. So what I'll do is now I'll attach the camera with my mobile phone into the application Wi-Fi carriage. So here you'll see a plus sign and uh, when we are going to connect it with the Wi-Fi hotspot we need to select this option LAN search this is the easiest way to connect just refresh it now it will show you the IP address of the camera so when you will allow it it will ask you the password that is admin which has mentioned on your camera admin just enter yes now you can see here it is coming online we can just view the camera right now now my camera is moving like you can see on my screen as well so okay now I'll tell you like how to enter the Wi-Fi password into the camera so just click on the settings button here you will see the option of Wi-Fi network it's my brother's name Amin the Wi-Fi which is coming to the camera so I'll click on this Wi-Fi network I need to enter the Wi-Fi password over here so I'll click I'll dial up the password over here okay I've entered the password now into the camera so now the camera would say Wi-Fi connecting now what will happen is my phone Wi-Fi would be connected to my phone would be connected to the Wi-Fi and wi the camera would say Wi-Fi connecting okay now it is saying Wi-Fi connected now my phone is running on my Wi-Fi and I've entered the password of my Wi-Fi into the camera so it will take just one minute to get connected in most of the IP cameras what happen is you need to restart the camera not reset you want to like open the camera on your mobile data like right now it's running on the mobile Wi-Fi or like we are running it on Wi-Fi so it will run smoothly you can so like I'm running it from my phone so I'm running it through my phone okay there is some screen over here which I'm running so if I want to connect it with my Wi-Fi like from my mobile data I need to restart the camera I will first take the camera I'll just plug it out and just give one second I need to plug it once again you need to plug it out and then you need to plug it once again so now you can connect it to your mobile data as well just you need to plug out it once now if I go with my mobile data I want to view I'll close my Wi-Fi I'm sitting somewhere else but I want to view from my camera what I need to do is now I need to again go to the app it will show connecting right now because the same it would come the system is starting you need to just refresh this again and again in order to view your camera it will for the first time installation you need to re restart it the device once now I'm, now I'm running at my on my like mobile internet I need to view it on from my mobile internet anywhere I need to just restart it restart it by switching the power supply on and off once and then I can anytime view it from my phone well here you will show it it will show connected it will get connected to my Wi-Fi and I will check it here with my mobile data so now you can see it has come online
and that's working so now it's working on my mobile in, like data and the quality is also good so that's my whole process of installation a Wi-Fi device thank you for watching have a great day bye bye <music>